Hi, and welcome to another video on fractions. Uh, in this particular video, what I thought I would do is tackle a number of interesting word problems related to fractions. And I thought this would be helpful for continuing to build your understanding, to build your intuition around this particular topic. So without further ado, let me begin uh, the, the session. Uh, so what I'll do is let me first read the, the problem to you. The, the first problem we're going to tackle uh, is as follows. It says, what fraction of the days in the week correspond to weekend days, and what fraction correspond to weekdays? So what fraction of the days in the week correspond to weekend days, and what fraction correspond to weekdays? So let's see, how do we tackle this problem? And I think this is actually the, the hardest problem that I'm going to ask you in this particular video. So the way I would start tackling it is this, let's first identify what the days of the week are. So we have uh, Sunday, oh, let me, uh, having some technical difficulties here. Let's try that. So we have, uh, there we go, Sunday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And you probably know, and you should know hopefully by now, that there are seven days in the week. So we have, uh, let me just count this out. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, now of these days, what are the weekend days? We know that basically there's two examples of, of weekend days Saturday and Sunday are the weekend days. So uh, this is a weekend. arrow here to say weekend. Sunday is a weekend day and the other weekend day is Saturday and everything else is a weekday. Okay, so how many weekend days do we have? We have a total of two weekend days out of seven total days. So two weekend days out of seven total days. And so the first answer is that there are two sevenths of the days correspond to weekend days, two days out of seven. How about weekdays? Well, how many days are remaining? So we have uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So, uh, let's see. So, so one, two, three, four, five. So Monday through Friday, the weekdays. There are five weekdays. So we've got five weekdays, again, out of a total of seven possible days. Okay, so five weekdays out of a total of seven possible days. So five weekdays out of seven possible days. And this makes sense. We have, um, uh, if there are seven total days and five of them are uh, weekdays, then two of them must be weekends, right? And similarly, uh, if there are two weekend days out of a total of seven, uh, then the remaining five must be weekdays. Hopefully that made some sense. And let's move on to another problem. Okay, so Thomas has four coins. Okay, he has four coins. One of the coins is a penny and three are quarters. What fraction of the coins are quarters? And, and actually, I forgot to put a question mark here. Let me put a nice question mark here. Show us the question. Okay, well, how do we tackle this particular problem? Well, maybe the first thing to do is, is let's imagine we have, um, let's draw out the coins. Maybe put, put some drawings in place. Uh, so let me find a, way, a good way to draw a, a penny. I'm, it's going to be kind of hard for me to, to draw a penny, but let me uh, just put a little circle for now, and, and we'll just put a little circle here, and maybe put the letter P inside to signify a penny. Okay, so Thomas has one penny, and he has three quarters. So let me let me draw some quarters here. So let me make this a bit bigger, since quarters are bigger than pennies. So one quarter, we'll put the letter Q to specify quarter to make it a bit clearer. 
that we are talking about a quarter, so two quarters and three quarters. So he has four coins, so one, two, three, four. One of them is a penny and three are quarters. What fraction of the coins are quarters? So we know that the total number of quarters is three quarters, okay, divided um, out of, rather, um, one, two, three, four coins. So three over four, or three fourths. The answer is three fourths of the coins are quarters. Okay, and that's the answer here. Okay, I think this was a bit more simpler than, than the first one. I mean, the first one we had to deal with days of the week, and here we were just talking about out of four coins, you have one of them being a penny, three or quarters. So you know that three fourths of the coins must then be quarters. And, and conversely, um, if you know that three quarters of the coins or three fourths of the coins are quarters, that means that in this particular case, one fourth uh, would uh, one fourth of the coins are pennies. So, in fact, you can say here. You can say one fourth are pennies, uh, and we know that uh, uh, three fourths here will be three out of the four will be quarters. Okay, let's move on to the next problem. It says Mary bought seven pieces of fruit. Three sevenths were bananas. Three out of seven were bananas. The rest were kiwi. How many kiwi did Mary buy? Well, um, let's figure out that. So we know we have seven pieces of fruit. Okay, so let, let me kind of uh, give you a very generic. Let's, let's, let's kind of just draw out some pieces of fruit here, and we'll maybe use this kind of gray color. So we have uh, uh, some piece. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven pieces of fruit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we know that of these seven pieces of fruit, three sevenths are bananas. So that means, uh, more precisely, that out of these seven, three must be bananas. So let, let's make this one a banana. And I'm going to draw a banana here. Okay, we'll make a banana out of this one. And imagine this is also a banana. Okay, so we have one, two, three bananas out of seven. How many kiwi must we? Well, if the rest are kiwis, we know we have these remaining items. So let's, let's color them in green, to, so it makes it more clear that we're dealing with kiwi. Okay, and here we have one, two, three, and four. So the four remaining items are all kiwi. And in fact, that makes sense. If you remember, you bought seven pieces of fruit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three seven. So three out of the seven are bananas. So one, two, three are bananas. The rest are kiwi, so these remaining one, two, three, and four must all be kiwi, and that means that Mary bought four kiwis. So the answer is that um, uh, Mary bought four kiwis. I think kiwis. Um, plural of kiwi is kiwi, so I think I should have let me fix this sentence. This should be a kiwis, not kiwi. Right. Um, and uh, the rest were, we can say, the rest were kiwis. So I'm giving you a bit of a grammar lesson in addition to a math lesson here. Okay, let's keep going. Hopefully that made sense. Ooh, a jelly bean problem. And this will, this will be the last problem we do in this video. So it says that John has five jelly beans. Three fifths are, and I think it should be R red. Let me just uh, write that. Oops. Three fifths uh, Oh, man. Oops. Three fifths are red, and the rest are green. How many red jelly beans does John have? How many green jelly beans does John have? So let, let's kind of first write out some sample jelly beans. 
so uh, I'll write down one, two, three, four, five. At this point, we don't know the color. We have five jelly beans. And now it says that three fifths are red. So three out of five jelly beans are red. So let, let's color in three of these five to be red. So let's make sure this is the first red one here. Okay, and this one. And this one. So we have three red ones. And let's, let's color them in nicely so that we lose all remnants of the, little, the old gray jelly bean there. So we have one jelly bean, two jelly beans, and three jelly beans out of the five being red. So the answer is how, first of all, it's the first question how many red jelly beans does John have? Well, the answer is three. So let's write down, John has three red jelly beans. So John has three red jelly beans. Okay, now how many green jelly beans does John have? Well, we know that the rest are green. So um, the problem tells us very clearly that uh, three fifths are red, and the rest, the rest, the remaining ones are green, and so that means these two must, in fact, be green jelly beans. Okay, so one, two. So he has two green, and he has uh, the rest being red. So three red. Okay, so um, uh, hopefully this was pretty straightforward. Um, this is the word problem, and, and and if you just remember what fractions mean, when you see a fraction, it means you take when you see three fifths, that means you take three objects out of five uh, equal size objects. Uh, so we took three red ones here; the rest must have been green, and uh, and that's uh, we know that three plus two is equal to five, and all five jelly beans constitute the, the whole number of jelly beans that you started with. Hope this made some sense and uh, look forward to talking to you in another video, um, possibly again on fractions.